Hey everyone, I'm Lynn, the fitness Filipina, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to do a lower body workout. And to help the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So if you guys have any comments or requests, don't forget to leave a comment below and let's get started on the workout. All right guys, so this is a great lower body workout that you can complete at home. All you need is some space, your dumbbells, and a band. You can usually grab dumbbells at any department store or even online. I'm not using very heavy weights for this. Usually a set of 10 pound dumbbells is great for most exercises. We'll start this lower body workout with a warm up. Let's do some running on the spot, which is simply jogging in place. You can start with your knees a little lower on the running motion. Then over the course of the warm up, try to get those knees a little higher. Next, I'll just do some easy body weight squats. Remember, this is where we'll ensure that our body and joints are in good order before we start doing any weights. It's important to focus on our form for this as well. The theme of squats for the next one, but add a little bit of difficulty and lateral movement. Squat down and hold the stance and launch your foot out to each side. This will warm up our hips and mobility muscles. For the first exercise, we'll use one dumbbell and a band. Start in a staggered stance with one foot to the front and one to the rear. Using the band, place one end around your forward foot and place the other end of the band around the middle of the dumbbell. We'll be grabbing the dumbbell from either side to complete a split squat with stationary feet. This one is great as the weight gives constant tension and the band adds increasing tension as you squat. You can try varying the tempo as well. Try lowering very slowly and returning to the top quickly. Or complete the entire repetition very slowly with 5 seconds in each direction. Try for 12 repetitions on each leg. Next, use a chair or a wall to give yourself a stable platform to work from. We'll be doing banded kickbacks. Place the exercise band around your legs just above the knees. Lean forward to your stability device and raise one foot to the rear with a bent knee. We'll be raising our knee to the rear with a bent foot to target our glutes. This is a great exercise as it involves resistance but also balance and stability. We'll try to complete 12 repetitions on each leg, so make sure you're using the appropriate resistance. Now, we use the dumbbell for a more dynamic exercise, the dumbbell swing. We've completed the kettlebell swings before, and this is essentially the same except we're using a dumbbell. Grab the dumbbell on one end with both hands. Take up a neutral standing position with feet at about shoulder width apart. We'll bend down slightly with a neutral spine, bringing the dumbbell between our legs. Then swing the dumbbell upwards to about shoulder height. Remember to maintain a neutral spine for this one, meaning you're not arching your back. Keep a very strong core as this will both prevent injuries and generate more power. Let's try for 12 more repetitions with this one. Alright, so let's do a dumbbell deadlift. Depending on the weight of your dumbbells, you can do this one with one or both of them. Take up a standing position with feet just inside shoulder width apart and hold the dumbbell in front of you. We'll bend at the hip to allow the dumbbells to run downwards, maintaining them close to our body. Keep the back posture strong as you lower and raise the weights. So this is a great exercise to target our glutes and lower posterior chain. Now let's do 12 reps of this one as well. That 
That was great, guys. Thank you for joining with me. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.